Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet these easy fingerless gloves for an average adult size using the moss stitch. Other sizes are on my website. I'm using 90 yards of worsted weight yarn and a size F crochet hook. To begin, make a chain of 34 or any multiple of two. To do the moss stitch, you'll skip the first three chains and make a single crochet, then it's chain one, in the fourth chain from the hook. And repeat with skipping one chain, then making a single crochet stitch, followed by a chain one in the next chain. And repeat again. It's important to note the width of each row will be rotated to fit up and down your hand from your finger joints to past your wrist. I should also mention you can start with a longer tail end at the beginning of the chain, so you can use that strand to sew the thumb area later or just use a separate strand of yarn later. If all went well, you should end up with a single crochet in the last stitch. And here's row one. Mine ends up about seven inches. You can make yours longer or shorter by starting with either more or less chains and following the same stitch pattern. Row two of the moss stitch is repeated throughout. Start with a chain two and turn your work. Skip over the first stitch and find the previous chain one space. In it, we're going to put a single crochet stitch followed by a chain one, and then find the next previous chain one space. In it, we're going to do the same thing of a single crochet stitch followed by a chain one. As mentioned before, this pattern is pretty easy to alter for any size once you see that the width of each row ends up being the length of the glove, and the number of rows ends up being the part that goes around your entire hand, including the palm and then the back section of the hand. So continue repeating row two until you have a total of 28 rows or about six and a half inches of rows or whatever fits your hand as you'll see how I do this in the next section. This is very important. We need to pivot our work so that the rows end up facing up and down now. We do this because the moss stitch stretches nicer from left to right this way. We're going to fold over our work so row 28 connects to the original starting chain. Ideally, the 28 rows or 6.5 inches is enough for your hand. If not, add more rows before you sew the thumb area. The rows again are going up and down in this glove. I'm using stitch markers to decide where I want my thumb to be. I'll end up sewing the top part and the bottom part of the glove, yet leave a space for my thumb. It's up to you which sewing method you prefer. I like to use a modified mattress stitch. You can use an overhand stitch. You can even use slip stitch with a crochet hook or even connect the pieces together with single crochet stitches because you aren't really going to feel this seam in the final glove too much. Then of course, it's a good idea to make a second glove to match the first one, which is made in the same way, except when trying it on, you'll sew the seam on the left side of the glove for your right hand's thumb. And that's pretty much it. That's how I crochet a set of easy fingerless gloves.